hey guys welcome to my youtube channel i just want to use this opportunity to say thank you to everyone that subscribed commented or liked my videos so today i'll be showing you how to draft and sew an easy collar so the pattern is on a fold the length i'll be working with for this collar is three inches so i'll be taking a horizontal line which will re represent my next side conference so i'll rule out the line like so so now i'll take the next side conference for this measurement the next side conference is 14 14 divided by 2 will give us 7 and i'm adding half an inch for seam allowance i'll do the same thing this 7.5 i'll take it down here and I'll, I'll, and I'll draw a vertical line to meet the one upward like this so this is our neck circumference now the next thing I'll be taking is the color stand measurement so for the color stand I'll be using one inch you can either use one or 1.5 inches for your color stand but for this measurement i'll be using one inch so i'll just take a, a horizontal line like this so this is the collar stand and this other part is the collar so from this point i'll come down by half an inch like this i came down by half an inch from this point and from this same point i will go in by one inch here then i'll connect this one inch to meet the half an inch with a curve so i'll use my armhole curve to do that if you don't have this you can use your free hand to connect it so this is our color stand now i'll just take this one inch i got on on this collar stand I'll take it upward also so I'll take like a broken vertical line to meet the one inch like this then from this point I'll go out by two inches that is from the broken line here and I'll take a straight line to meet the two inches Now that I've gotten this, I'll connect it back to this one inch here with my ruler. So this is basically our collar and our collar stand. You can cut it out from here if you desire. But there's something I want to do. It's not compulsory. If you want your collar, your the tip of your collar to have a little slant of or slope, you can do this. It's not compulsory, like I said. I just want my color to have a little slant. So from this point, I'll go up by quarter or half an inch. So let me use quarter inch here. Then from this broken line, I'll slant it like this to meet the half the quarter inch. But I noticed the quarter inch I took is a little low, so I'm using half an inch to connect it. So from after getting the slant, I'll just connect it back to this point. So our collar is ready. Now I'll just go ahead and and um, label it. So this is the collar. And this is the color stand so let's cut it out now when you open it up you have something like this that is if it's sewn it will look like this but because it's a col and um, it's a it's a color and a color stand I'll have to cut it because you can decide to use only the color stand to make a dress or something else. I'll just cut it out. 
to differentiate them here we go 10 it i have this so you are going to cut two two of the collar and two of the collar stand so one will stand as an interface or facing to turn it and you add quarter or half an inch all around the collar and the collar stand take for example this is your fabric you just place it on a fold like this and you use quarter inch all round like this so that it doesn't affect the pattern or or the measurements you took so you just cut it like this on your fabric you do the same on the collar you do the same on the collar by adding half or quarter inch so now just go ahead and cut it on my fabric So here we go, I added half an inch all around the collar and I added interface. You can either use a collar, I'm sorry, a collar stay or a paper stay on the collar. So what I did was I, for the main collar, I made the facing bigger so that it doesn't have a funny shape when you sew it if you cut it together you might it might not balance properly so i'll just sew it like this and i'll do the same for the color stand i've added interface and i made it the the second part bigger so i'll take it to the sewing machine now i'll start sewing it from this point here and i'll go straight from, i'll take the cuff like so then go straight until i get to this point and go straight again that is we'll start sewing from this point here so let's do that now so I'm sewing with quarter inch so when you get to this point make sure your needle is inside the fabric before you turn it remember it has it has a sharp edge so you just turn it like this then you continue sewing So now when you get to this point too, you do the same thing. Make sure the needle is inside the fabric. Then you turn it like so. Then you continue sewing. So these parts will be open. This side. Won't sew that side. That's where you use to join the shirt. So you just trim it out. Then I will cut out this part so that when I'm turning it, it will be easy for me to turn. Then I'll notch the edge like this so that when you turn it out, it will be flat. So I'm turning it now. I'm trying to pull it out. So this is it. I'll just give it a good press. So I've done that, I've ironed it with my pressing iron and I've top stitched on it. It's not compulsory to top stitch it. So you make sure it's on a fold like this and you get the midpoint of the collar here. I notched it to get the midpoint. So this is the collar stand. Remember I cut excess. I made the collar stand, one, one of the collar stand bigger. So I'll fold it, I'll fold it again, like so, then I'll notch these points to get the midpoint. Then I'll place the collar on it, on the excess collar stand. I'll place the collar on it, that is the midpoint who meet each other here. I'll just spin it so that it doesn't shift. Then I'll place the 
the color stand that is the main color i've already notched it i folded it and i got the midpoints here i've notched it i've notched this part so i'll i'll make sure this curvy part will be on top of of where i'll be sewing so the midpoints will be facing the collar like this then i'll pin it then i'll just start i'll start sewing from this point by quarter inch straight until i get to this other curve and i'll stop so let's go ahead and sew it remember we are sewing it by quarter inch So this is what we have I'll just cut out the excess that is why it's good to leave excess because if it's equal it might not sit well when you cut it or when you sew it but because I left excess it will be very easy for me to sew it and it will make it balance now I'll iron and trim it out so iron it and trim the excess I'll leave half inch for joining on this part and I will top stitch I'll top stitch this side it's not compulsory but it will just make it sit well so let me just top stitch it so here we go remember i left half inch on that part that we used to join the shirt so this is our collar we've come to the end of this tutorial in my next video i'll be showing you how to attach the collar on a shirt dress i hope the tutorial was helpful thanks for tuning in don't forget to like subscribe and comment thank you